Good evening, good evening. Everybody's fine? Good evening. Yes. Good. So, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? At least it's too nice here with a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> I, you try, I try. I try. Yeah, it's, it's, almost, it's almost Friday, <laughs> actually. This is the middle, just a half of the week. Yeah. We're almost there. Almost <laughs> there. Yes. Resist. Yes. Yeah. Almost like nothing. Almost like nothing. Almost the end. I still yes. remember um a dialogue from a movie. I don't know if you ever saw the movie Up. You ever saw the movie Up? Okay. You pick up. Where there was an old man with the with a balloon house, don't you remember? <laughs> yes. When the yes, yes. Uh -huh, when <laughs> he was just a little boy and his wife was just a little girl, she used to say the boy scout. Uh huh. The, yeah, but that was a little the Russell, the boy that went with him on the adventure, but when <laughs> he was just a little boy and his wife was just a little girl i remember that she used to say adventures up there and she would like <laughs> be very excited about having adventure in, in i guess where the place she wanted to go was i don't remember but she wanted to be a, a, a exploder so the story is very nice if you have the opportunity to see the movie, see it. And see it in English. Actually, the dialogues in English make a lot more sense than in Spanish. And it's funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, a good way to practice English is by watching animated films. Because animated films have very, very easy dialogues to understand. So that is one of my recommendations. The movie? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, really yes the dialogues are easy to understand because animated films are for kids so <laughs> the characters speak very clear and they okay. have their easy way to communicate so that's why okay. I, I recommend it if you want to practice your english you can watch animated films i remember watching up i was when i was i think i was still learning yeah, I watch Rio. I watch Over the Hedge, all these animated films. And they have a good story as well. Not only for English, they also, I mean, you can also enjoy the story of the movie. 
Okay, thank you. That's a good recommendation. <laughs> okay. Sorry. There are noisy people here in my house. <laughs> I just say quiet. <laughs> mute, um, mute, please. Mute. mute. I'm working already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Andres, teacher, going home. Almost there, too. <laughs> he says, almost there. <laughs> Getting home. Yeah, it's all right. No problem. Be careful. All right. I see. Yeah. Nobody got in the wrong class today. Everybody got the right one. Because today, it, they send the correct link. Yes. Hopefully everybody can join us. Uh-huh. Teacher getting home is arriving home. It's like a gerund, like a topic. See you. Yes. Similar, or... similar. Yes. Yeah, he's almost getting home. But in this case, it's like the present progressive. I just shorten it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Abbreviate it. Abbreviated. Getting okay. home. Yeah, he is getting home. He's almost there. Okay. All right. Okay. Any good news? Any bad news? Internet day today, actually. Thanks to the internet, we are connected on the online class, actually. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? The internet, is it? Perdón. Today. Is the yes. International Internet Day. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. This day. Today. Oh. May 17 is the Internet Day. I don't oh, know really? that. You didn't know that? No. I didn't know that. Uh, and I say thanks to the Internet. Accounting Day, too. Um, oh, yes, the Accountant's Day as well. Accountant's it's true. Day. Okay. And we are studying the Accounting Unit. What a coincidence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, because um, we have these different activities uh, to commemorate the Internet Day with the students. They talk a lot about the artificial intelligence. If you haven't heard of it, yeah, it's a, there are so many tools, so many things that now use artificial intelligence, especially on the internet, right? So students describe, make presentations, share, and explain how to use these tools. We had a long day, very long, long day. Not normal classes, but presentations. And usually students um, share knowledge with others from different levels. So it was it was a very different day. A very crazy day. And yesterday we had the technology day. So we, it's been a, a lot about technology. These two days, it's been a lot, a lot of information about, especially about artificial intelligence. All right. What about your days? What about your work? What about your days at work? Did you have a good day? A difficult day? An easy day? A relaxing day? Too much work? Not much uh, work? I feel to maybe feel concerned days because uh, the environment uh, um, the company. is very difficult. You know? Know. So, yes, the, uh, the production. A is, lot of production process. Is, yes, no, no hay pedidos. No. There are no requests. Yes, no requests. Really? Yes. This is a problem. But you are still working every single days. day. No okay. requests, no money. Mm -hmm. No production, no, no work. No production, money. yes. And you are still working the five days. Excuse me. You still work five days a week. Six work. Six days. Six days a week. Yes. So you go to work on Saturday? Yes. Really? Yes. 
That's a shame. Seven to eleven. Ah, uh, but at eleven you're gone. Yes. Yes. Go with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank yes. God. Because I thought you only work from Friday. I mean from Monday to Friday, not Saturday. No, no, no teacher. No. Until Saturday. We need to write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> a letter of complaint. Yes, you need a to letter change of request. My schedule. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but from Monday to Friday, you work from seven to four. Yes, well, um, one hour to lunch. An hour for lunch. Well, yeah. um, but from eight to four, I think it's enough. Enough. <laughs> enough is enough. And Robert? In my company, for some brands or departments, mm -hmm. uh, Monday to, to Thursday, four days a week. Mm -hmm. But in my case, I work five, five days a week. From Monday to Friday. Uh, <clears throat> however, uh, the production is, is, is low. Right. Is because of the season or because of the crisis? No, uh, crisis uh, is is for situation in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, economic is is low. Yeah, uh, for the pro for problem. Unemployment, economical crisis. Oh yes. wow! Yeah, sometimes we have to be. I mean, yes. Ah, thankful and grateful for the opportunities that we have because it's, it's I mean it's really hard it's yes really I really hard. I know I know other company uh, fruit of the loom mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> days are are for one week for two down really yes oh wow it's very difficult no way that's hard. That's really, really hard. Yes. Well, oh my God. Hopefully things improve because otherwise a lot of people, is, I mean, are going to be suffering. All right. Okay. Let's have the attendance. I think it's about time for us to get the attendance. Most of the participants are already connected. Let's see. I'm trying to find the correct. Did you receive the email for this for the survey on the last class? Yes, I received. Right. Oh, yes. Okay. Nice. But there was a mistake, right? For the date. I I remember I check it out and it says Monday the 19th, but it's Friday the 19th, okay? In the last okay. class. Aha, uh -huh. don't get confused. Oh, okay. Because I received the email and I and I was reading. It says, eh, "Classes este lunes 19 de mayo," but it's not lunes. It's not Monday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, just to clarify. Okay. And today okay. is the seventeenth. Andrea Monge. Andrea, at work, at home, not here. Okay. Hey, she sounds far, far away. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Denis Fernando. Gilberto Benito. Present teacher. Hazel Berenice. Present. Jose Andres. Present teacher. Hey, Julio Cesar. Present. Oh, sorry, Catherine. Present. Thank you. Kathy Briseida. Present. Mary. Present. Uh, Roberto. Present teacher. Rolando. Present teacher. Rudy. Present. Salvador. Susana, Andrea. Virginia, not here. 
Oh my god. Hey, how are you? And William. All right. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Yes, most people are here. So we are two classes away to finish this module. So I hope you have advanced a lot on the platform because it's really important that we complete everything, everything, everything from the platform and the exercises that we have there. So as I was mentioning, okay, this is the English for Work program. This is basic four and this is the class number 18. Today is Wednesday, May 17th of 2023. Okay. The requirements as usual. Okay, the objective for this class at the end of this session, participants will be able to describe why the cash flow cycle of a company is necessary in the development of it and finish a conversation your endurance in different forms correctly in pairs yeah i think this is the biggest challenge actually <laughs> all right so explain why it's necessary to pay attention to the cash flow of a company sales are final finalized cash inflows then you inject receivables, cash, purchases, inventory, and sales. So this is what, I mean, accountants probably understand very well, but it's hard for us sometimes, okay? um, This was an exercise we completed yesterday about the conversation that we practice, okay? And we say increasing the sales for this month is the objective. So what are some of the steps to follow? Personalizing and keeping track of the incomes. Okay, what is one of the main word? Okay, they are worrying about asking for money. And this was the explanation also of the usage of uh, the gerunds. Yes, the gerunds as a subject of a sentence. Writing in English is difficult. Watching TV is my favorite pastime. And then gerunds as a direct object. That means as, a, as an object of a verb, right? So I like writing in English. I love going out to restaurants, right? And this is the explanation that the book provides. And of course, we have these verbs. I think I'm, I'm going to show it to you from on the PDF so that you can get familiar with it, okay? Let's see. Is this exercise that you have right after the explanation and you have to complete the conversations, the mini tiny conversations, of course, because you have one, two, three, four little conversations between letter A and letter B, first and of course, then here they just have the, the I mean, the letters, but it should be a person who speaks first and the person who answers later. So you complete these conversations with the gerund forms. Aquí se lo dan en base form, pero ustedes lo tienen que poner en gerund. As, in gerund sería? Asking. 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 Give. Giving. 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 Paying. 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 Having. 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 Provide. Providing. 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 Get. Getting. Getting. And getting, le doblan la, la, la última T. La T. Yes, la T. the last consonant. Getting. Sí. Yes. Getting. Hire. Hiring. 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 Selling. 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 Of course, cuando vayan a utilizar cualquiera de estos, en los espacios en blanco tiene que tener sentido la, ya sea la question o la answers, ¿verdad? Do we start to Christmas weeks off? I prefer then to work one more week plus a bonus. So here, the verb that you're going to use has to make sense, okay? And the other one says, are you considering, I'm sorry, are you interested in 
new ideas for products? Yes, I am. Do you have? I love blah, blah, blah. Some. Okay, salaries to employees each month is our priority. Of course, salaries, you get paying salaries probably, right? So I totally agree with that. Besides, new workers has to be another one, okay? Are you worried about the bank for the new loan? Okay, so the question or the sentence has to make sense. So you have to look for the appropriate gerund, right? So that's why it says complete the conversation with the gerund firm, then compare with a partner. Of course, you can work with a partner so that you can share this cause to see which of these verse make more sense in each of the questions and sentences, right? So let's start working on that exercise. Let's work in groups so that you can have it easier and complete it faster. All right. Uh, the yes. 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 Yes, and we have to use the right word. Ya le di de comer para que no moleste, pero ahí está. Vaya. Aquí en, en la primera dice empezamos. Yo voy a estar eh, como que van a dar una semana de dos, dos semanas, semanas de Navidad. Uh -huh. Y dar el giving. De Pepe. Ok, Pepe tiene. De Pepe. Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Are you interested in new ideas <clears throat> for growth? Uh, getting. Um, having. Ah, uh, having. Yes. Uh, ok. Tener. ¿Estás interesado en ten, tener una tener. nueva? Para los productos. Ok, Javi. Para tener. Ok, yes, I am. I am. Do you have? Yes, I am. Do you have? Do you have? I love. I love getting some. Mm -hmm. Double, double T. Yes. Getting, getting. getting some. Getting some. Getting. ¿Cómo hace eso? Okay. ¿Mm? ¿Cómo edita? Um, ahí Ay, yo, yo pensé aparece. que era 
Pensé que era usted, Carlos. Sí, yo puedo editar, pero porque yo tengo un programa. <risa> pero ella, lo que hace ella me llama la atención también. Ah, pero aparece la barra, así arribita aparece una barra y ahí mismo le aparece si quiere escribir un texto, dibujar o seleccionar. Selling, selling the new product, selling. Yes, that's right. Selling the new products to paid employees. We use every word, right? Yes, providing. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Since all sentences, we can use two, two, two words, two verbs. Yes, there uh, are eight, eight um, verbs, and we have a, eight a complement. Yeah, it's like that. So, okay. Okay. Do we start into Christmas? Giving to Christmas. Giving. Asking sería, ¿verdad, compañera? En la en cuatro. Number four. Yes. Are you worried about asking the bank for the new loan?
<clears throat> Complete. Finished. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Right, good. Let's compare the answers then. Okay, teacher. Okay, here we go. So the first one, do we start? Giving. Giving. To giving. Christmas week. To Christmas weeks off. Giving or providing, mm. it's all right. Similar. Similar synonyms. Providing. Okay. And then I prefer paying. Paying them to work is, one more week plus a bonus. I put giving in the first sentences. Mm -hmm. It's a mistake. No, it's okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Providing, giving. Synonym. Okay. I prefer having them to work. So having them to work is like having the employees work. Why paying teacher? Paying them to work, mm -hmm. but you already okay. pay the employees to work. So I, I would say having them to work one more week plus. But teacher, it yes. say one more week plus a bonus. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, it's not paying because it's a paying them to work one more week plus a bonus. Yes. Sounds mm -hmm. also accurate. Also, if you if you want to say that you prefer to have the employees work, it's also possible. Okay. I don't think there is a there is a one single right answer as long as it makes sense, of course, right? All right. Are you interested in new ideas for products? Which word do you use for this one? I put having t-shirt. Having? Having new ideas for products? Yeah, yeah we, can, we can use providing too. Are you interested in providing? Could be. The only thing that probably doesn't make much sense is like, yes, I am. Do you have? If you ask me here, I would I would say listening to new ideas for products. Yes, I am. Do you have one? I love listening to some. <laughs> if you ask me, but listening is not even here, right? So they say giving new ideas for products. Yes, do you have? Giving. Mm -hmm. I getting. love getting some. And the number three. Providing. providing providing salaries to employees each month is our priority. I think paying sounds more appropriate because you pay salaries, right? Okay. Pay salaries to employees each month. I totally agree with that. Besides, new workers has to be another one. Hiding. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Hiring new workers has to be another one. And the other one that is already solved. Are you worried about asking the bank for a new loan? Not really. I'm more concerned about selling the new products to pay the employees. All right. The employees, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this was part of the exercise that you have on your book. Okay, look at this verse. Swim, rent, come, steal, shake, go, do, meet, see, eat, listen, and do. As well, we're going to transfer this into gerunds. Swim, swimming, rent, renting, come, coming, still, stealing, shake, shaking, go, going, do, doing, 
meet, meeting, see, seeing, it, eating, listen, listening, and do, doing. Okay, so these are the verbs that we're going to use in general form to complete the sentences. Um, okay, it's good for you for your back. You should go to the pool every day. So in that case, would be swimming as a subject of a sentence. Swimming is good for you for your back. Yes, you should go to the pool every day. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this um image more visible so that you can complete with these verbs. Remember, it's with this verse that you have to complete the sentences, okay? okay. Clear? Okay. So I will share okay. both images, all right? And the okay. same groups will stay working together. Me compartí la última. Bye. Vaya. Aquí tengo. Ok. So, we have to pass to the, the same papers in general. Tengo que pasar la segunda, ayer. Sí. Mm, Quería que sí, ¿verdad? I think yeah. <laughs> it's go Listening, listening, listening the music of the lion, uh -huh. lion, lion king. Forward to listening. Listening. Okay, listen, listen, listening, listening. listening. Mm -hmm. Okay, listening, listening. Listening the musical of the lion's king next week. 
Do you enjoy? Do you enjoy? O oh, sería you... otra. O, o esa creo que sería listening. Ah. Do you enjoy uh, listening to music on your iPhone? Uh, okay. Anna is looking forward to. Ah, quiero ver qué otro verbo tenemos. Come. Coming. Forward to. Coming. Coming. Ajá, para, está buscando, está deseando ir. Al musical. Está deseando ir. Coming. Está deseando ir. Ir. To coming. Entonces. Coming. Entonces, ¿verdad? O going. Mm -hmm. um, going to going is going, ah, going, 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 where we go. Y el tres sería listening. Do you enjoy listening to music on your headphones? Okay. I remember. I remember meeting a lot of celebrities. You seem to be a... And the other one... I, I never forget... I'll, I'll never forget shaking. Shaking, yeah, shaking hands. Check your hands. Yeah. Yes. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Check it. <laughs> sí, por eso que sí, se bueno, vamos a ver. <laughs> Algo así, creo que. <laughs> Eating. Right. The doctor told me to a poly. Eat food, yeah, of course, eating. So much. Come to So, yeah, I have to postpone coming to the shopping center. To the shopping. Coming to the center, I have to work. If, you, if you notice, three, four, five, six. Okay, coming. Maybe. Okay, we can use coming. Coming. I'm three. not sure. Coming. Mm. <clears throat> coming. I think that is coming, but I. Okay. Mm, coming, yeah, if it's a To. To going? Postpone going to the shopping center. Podría ser going. Podría ser también. Sí, digo que suena incluso con un poquito más de concordancia. I going, have to going, to, going to the shopping center. I'm going to the shopping center. I have to work on today. So you think it's going? Uh-huh. Okay. I have oh. number 10, would you consider to know that? It's, it's supposed we have 12 verbs and 12 sentences. So that means you must use a verb in each sentence, right? But um, 
¿Así o con una imagen? Viendo, sí, sí. Solo, solo así, ve. Exactamente así como está. Ah, ok. Change. Ok. Peter. Survivor, ¿eh? Peter isn't used to. Ahí sería do, que no le gusta el trabajo duro. Doing. Doing. I'm doing. Peter no está acostumbrado. Uh -huh. Es como hacer o trabajar algo duro. Él era libre bibliotecario. <ríe> Pero la sombrita. Sería Duin, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y en este sería pensando que le echó porras a Barak, ¿verdad? Agitó. Sería shaking, shake, shaking. Ahí se le desaparece la E a, la, a eso. No, como que se le quita. Ajá. Uh -huh. No fuera de sonar a diferencia. Vamos a ver. Sería así. Shaking. Sí. Sí, perfecto. Number seven, the doctor told to a boy say food. Sí, ¿verdad? Me dijo que... Eating, eating, quiero ver. Eating. No, still. Stealing. No. Como que le dije. Está It... comiendo mucho, ¿verdad? Ajá, the doctor. Que ya no comiera mucho. <ríe> Canción vieja de los doctores. Dieta, <ríe> dieta. Sería así, ¿verdad? No, pero number, pensé. Number eight, I have number... to postpone. Postpone. Uh, ah, postpone sería... what? Meeting. No, ahí sería. Postpone qué? Postpone to the Post... shopping center. Con coming. I have to postpone coming. 
yo estaría proponiendo venir al, al centro de compras. I have to work overtime Or today. Time to... Coming, creo. Coming. Ajá. Voy a posponer la... Venir. Venir, ok. Ajá. Coming. Ok, muy bien. Coming. Coming. Ese no cambia, ¿verdad? Solo es agregar ING. Bueno, la E por I, ahí, ¿verdad? I, I know. I'm not sure. La E creo que se elimina. Sí, ¿verdad? Coming. Ok. Creo. Teacher, la, la S elimina, ¿verdad, teacher? En coming. En coming. Yes. Usually when the last letter is letter E, it's omitted. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Instead, with I. I, Angie. Uh -huh. I, Angie. Ok. Ok. Um, doing. Doing is homework is good. Where I have to open. Number nine. Doing homework is a good way to a good way. Uh -huh. Doing. Doing. Okay. Doing. Ahí doing. ya sería la en gramática ya estaría actuando como sujeto ahí. Doing. Ah, okay. ¿Cómo diría el español? Hacer la tarea es buena, es un buen camino para consolidarte como para lo que estás aprendiendo. We are okay. learning. Okay, okay. Doing homework is a good way to consolidate what we are learning. Number uh -huh. 10, would you consider what? Do you, do you mean would, with would you consider? Ah, uh, do, do you, would you consider renting? Estil, ¿qué es? Aún. Estil. Uh -huh. Estil. Sí. Ah, est no, ahorita le digo que. Estil. Ah, yes. Robar. Estil. Robar. Ah, pues no. Porque dice, would you consider, me gustaría considerar la reunión conmigo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Will you consider consider what? Rent a rentar va. Rent. Uh -huh. Te gustaría considerar rentar para la reunión conmigo. Ah, uh -huh. sí, sí, ya. Será. La once es stealing. Eso sí estoy seguro. Robert admitted. Admitió que me robó el dinero. Ajá. Ah, bueno. Yeah, por lo me menos, va. I still. Uh, I admit still your, your heart. <laughs> stealing. 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 Ad mm. Robert admit stealing one yeah. kiss. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bueno. <laughs> bueno, dice. La 10. La 10 es el que hemos tenido. Ranking. Es que en la, li en la lista que, que nos te... queda, shake. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Shake. We discuss shaking a car. Claro. Shake, shake. Vamos a buscar el shake. Por lo que tengo entendido es que es eso, como agitar. Ajá. Agitar. Ajá, cuando usted ve que la licuadora. Shake. Uh -huh. We discuss checking a car, but we didn't reach an agreement. We Sería, ah, but, but we didn't, como que tuvimos una discusión agitada. Ajá. 
Yeah. Shaking. Pero en la... Sería en la 12, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Shaking. Yes, shaking. Yes, of course, shaking, 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 shaking. La E por la I, ¿verdad? Shaking. Uh -huh. Baila 10. Okay. ¿Cuál nos quedaría, Katy? Ren. Yeah, Ren, te puse o oh, doing. Robert, would you consider doing? Ah, uh, doing. Doing. Ajá, también nos queda. Ajá, ¿estás considerando hacer la reunión conmigo? Ajá, doing. Doing. Y renting, ¿sabes era dónde va? Ah, uh, de oración solo tenemos 12. Y verbos, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Pero... Ajá, se supone que... Home. Que es uno por cada... Sí. Por Entonces... cada sentences. Si ahí le hemos puesto a la 10 doing, en otra que le hemos puesto doing, tendría que ser rain. Le hemos puesto a la 9 y a la Más literal, en, el, en una que otra. Sí. Yo tomaré selfie a la pantalla. <ríe> Ya estuvo la selfie. Ya. Yeah. <ríe> sí, yo ayer la que hice hasta que ya la había quitado. Ay, no le tomé foto. All right, finish. Yes. Yes. Done, done, done. Yes, yes. Good. <laughs> Swim, swimming. Swimming, double M as well, right? Rent, renting. Come, coming, still stealing, shake, shaking, go, going, do, doing, meet, meeting, see, seeing, eat, eating, listen, listening, and do, doing, right? And the first one, we already said that it was swimming. Pero por espacio, déjenme ver. Let me see what the, uh, okay. These are the tools that we need. Lo voy a escribir al inicio. Swimming, okay? Swimming. Uh -huh. That would be the first one, but because there's not enough space. Swimming is good for your back. You should go to the pool every day. Anna is looking forward to going. the musical of the Lion King next week. Going. Going. Going could be going to the musical of the Lion King. Seeing, looking forward to seeing the musical as well. Ya no le pudieron seeing. Me. Mm -hmm. Seeing the musical of the Lion King. Do you enjoy? ¿Cuál sería la mejor? Usted se refiere a que ella está realmente interesada o está esperando ir, podría ser going. Pero si lo que está esperando es ver el musical. Sí. Uh -huh. Ahí depende. O sea, tampoco es que uh -huh. este ver, pues, y este ver, bueno. <risa> si, si no es sentido, cuadrado. No, si tiene sentido, tiene sentido. O sea, que ahí depende de lo que uh -huh. quiere, el mensaje que quiera decir. No es rebelde. No. Ok. <risa> Sin causa. Do you enjoy aquí sí? Listening. Listening. 
si ponemos otra cosa y como que no, mucho. Listening yeah. to music on your headphones. I remember a lot of celebrity when I was young. My dad used to work in Hollywood. Meeting. Meeting. Uh -huh. Qué nice. Excellent. <laughs> is meeting like meeting. Like a meeting. meeting. Uh huh. Like a meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. the word meeting of a reunion comes from the verb meet somebody. Because you meet other people in a meeting. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Peter isn't used to such a hard physical work. He used to be a librarian. Doing. Está a hacer tanto ejercicio físico. Solía ser un librarian. Yes. Y ahora. <laughs> De sol a sol. <laughs> Doing a lot of hard work. I'll never forget. Sí. Hands with Barack Obama in 2013. Sí. Shaking. Shaking. Oh, shaking. Yes, shaking. Sí. Robert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sí, Nunca olvidaré el haber estrechado la mano con Barack Obama. Oh, okay. Porque pensé que el saludo de mano es handshake. Porque okay. hacemos esto. Handshake. So I'll never forget shaking hands with Barack Obama in 2013. The doctor told me to avoid. Eating. Eating. Esa sí estaba fácil, ¿verdad? ¿no? Yes. <laughs> Because they always say Esa that. la entendemos rápido. <laughs> Pero que no lo obedecemos. Pero no lo practicamos. <laughs> I know. Teacher, how do you pronounce fatty food? Fatty food. Fatty food. Fat viene de fat, de grasa. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. eh, alimento de, grasoso. De Exacto. gordito. De fat. <laughs> De hecho, la ah, grasa sí. con la que cocinamos es fat. Fat. Ajá, okay. Por ejemplo, nosotros hoy obviamente existen aceites y todo esto, pero en tiempo... Oil. Factor. Extra virgen. Ah, obviously, olive oil. Pero en tiempos <risa> ancestrales la gente cocinaba con la grasa de los animales. Yes. Yo la grasita del cerdo. Exacto, mi abuelo. Mi abuelo vivió 90 años y él todavía decía, ay, es que vale. nada como antes. Y mi mami, like. <ríe> Quiero <ríe> mi manteca de cuche. Exacto. Sí, es lo mejor. Y si mejor los tamales ciudad. hubieran quedado mejor, yo. Y ahí viene el término fat. Fat. Fatty food. Es comida Party grasosa. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay, I'll have to postpone coming. Coming to the shopping center, I have to work overtime today. Ahí podríamos tener varias posibilidades. Oh. Going. Oh. Yo, uh -huh. Tendré que posponer el ir al shopping center or el coming. Yes, to the shopping center. I have to work overtime. Uh, homework okay. is a good way to consolidate to consolidate what we are learning. Doing homework. Doing. 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 That's easy because you do a lot of homework. <laughs> okay. Would you consider to the meeting with me? Coming. 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 <laughs> Coming. Going to the meeting with me. Attending. Right. Robert admitted. Stealing. Yes. Stealing. <laughs> the money he took. Steal your love. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing the money, Robert. You admitted. Uh, okay. <laughs> you took it when nobody was looking. Uh -huh. We discussed. <clears throat> Renting. 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 Yes, and we usually say rental car, car rentals, right? All right, give me one second. I just need. Oh, okay. No estamos tan mal, don yes. <laughs> Renting. Okay. <clears throat> oh, 
foreign. Okay, so this would be the correct answers yes. for gerunds, right? Gerunds as subject, gerunds as objects of verbs, or gerunds after prepositions, right? Let's see. Everybody has taken notes already, right? I hope so. I believe so. <clears throat> Vaya, veamos. Vamos a hablar de business. Business casual. <laughs> All right. Networking. Networking. Provide suggestions for the following example. So we're going to read and then we're going to give suggestions, right? I just fired worker named Cristobal Miranda. Yes. He's planning to start his own business since he is no longer under a contract and he has saved $10,000. Plus, he just got the amount of $5,000 in terms of compensation from his former workplace. So in total, he has $15,000, right? He wants to set up his own business in something related to cuisine since he is a professional chef. However, he needs the assistance of a business expert so that he can use his money wisely. How can he start his business and what suggestions can you give to Crisobal for setting up his business? All right, one more time, I'm going to read and you try to follow the reading. If there are new words or new terms or difficult words to pronounce, we can work, we can practice on them, right? I just fired, co sorry, I just fired worker named Cristobal Miranda who is planning to start his own business. Since he's no longer under a contract and he has saved ten thousand dollars plus he just got the amount of five thousands in terms of compensation from his former workplace he wants to set up his own business in something related to cuisine since he is a professional chef however he needs to he needs the assistance of a business expert so that he can use his money wisely uh-huh Any difficult word? Diez mil. <laughs> Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Thousand. Exactly. Yes. Ten thousand, five thousand. Five thousand. Thousand. Okay. Yes. I'm going to write it here. Teacher. Yes. What's the mean cuisine? Cuisine is como el área de la cocina. O sea, pero no la cocina del lugar, sino que la cocina en general. Okay. Por ejemplo, usted dice la cocina italiana. Se está hablando uh -huh. de cómo cocinan los italianos, el tipo de okay. comida. Uh -huh. Ese es el, el, el área de, de negocio. Uh -huh. Italian cuisine. Italian cuisine. Italian cuisine. Uh -huh. um, Salvadorian mm -hmm. cuisine. Yes. And we say, like oh, cool. <laughs> uh -huh. mm, okay. Right. Set up. Set you up. Set it's up. like to start. Como instalar. Uh -huh. Setear. Setear, instalar, iniciar. Come Mon up. Money whistling. Money whistling. wise. Wise. Wisely, de forma o de manera inteligente o astuta. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. Para que pueda invertir su dinero pues de una forma inteligente, sabia. Amount. Amount. The amount monto. of money. El, el monto, exacto, la cantidad. El monto, amount. Uh -huh. Amount. Por un monto de... Of... Five thousand dollars. Five thousand. Sabiamente. Uh-huh. Wisely. 
wisely. wisely. Solo wise es sabio. Entonces, si le agregamos el li, wisely. Ente. Sabiamente. Ente. Con prudencia o prudentemente. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Yes. Ok. Anything just else? Adjust fire. Adjust fire. A alguien que lo acaban fire. de despedir. Okay. Uh, just fire work. Como just married, alguien que se acaba de casar. Just fire, uh, alguien que lo acaban de despedir. Ah, ok. I just fire work. Uh -huh. El pobre Cristóbal lo acaban de quitar. Pero le dieron uh -huh. un compensation de $5,000. ¿Cuánto okay. debería de ser la compensation en el país si lo despiden? A que no me vengan con que lo liquidan cada año y que por eso no le van a dar nada. <risa> ¿Por qué se la escapa la bolita? Pues eso es lo que dicen, vea. Si le dan la indemnización anualmente, ya no le dan ni un quinto cuando uno En serio, va. aunque lo dejen. Yes. Yes. Nada. Nada porque firma o renueva contrato cada vez que lo quitan. <risa> cada vez que me quitan cada año. Cada yes. año. Uh -huh. ¿Te da que cuando Africa. le dan la indemnización a uno, puede retirarse si se quiere. <risa> Ya no le deben nada. Yo si no quiero, no llego el, do, el 2 de enero. Yes. Marca hembra. <risa> Pero yo vi un video que decía que aunque, que aunque, ajá, lo, que aunque lo liquidan todos los años, si lo despiden, tiene derecho a una compensation. Yo vi un video de que cuando lo, lo, lo despiden, le dan su, su dinero ¿va? y le dura Ajá. hasta que se muere, solo que se tiene que morir al siguiente día. <risa> que te raya, y aquí va a ir con algo así. <risa> a las 24 horas. Ah, a las 24 horas. Vuela, no, de yeah. verdad no tiene derecho a nada. No, no. No. Este video me mintió. Sí, le, es que usted lo vio que era un video de Europa. Ajá, de igual. otra realidad. No, de otro no. Sí. Véalo. Sí. Ajá. Ver, me muero de la tristeza. Área local. Sí. Es que es el objetivo para poder sobrevivir. Con Yo el fui administradora de un mini super y de una llantera por 15 años. Bueno, el mini super por 15 años, la llantera como por 4. Y cuando me salí, no me dieron ni la gracia. Bueno, en serio. Uh -huh. Terrible. Sí. Ay, no, esto es derecho bueno. en este país. Pero, sí, no, no. pero lo que más, bueno, a mí realmente me, me causa así como un poco de tristeza es que cómo se llena la boca de que van a mejorar las leyes y, y aquí han pasado 40 años desde que yo recuerdo que están diciendo eso. Y pero las leyes nunca mejoran. Pero si uno presiona así, el problema es que eh, aquí era como que todo quedaba en familia. Porque mi jefe era un hermano mío mayor que mí. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo le dije que ya no iba a seguir por problemas, ¿verdad? Que, uh -huh. que ya no nos entendíamos después de 15 años. Y, y él va, ok, ya, para su casa y ya, nada de... Y yo hablé con un abogado amigo mío uh -huh. y me dijo, no me dijo, si usted pelea este caso, me dijo, le gana a usted. Lo gana. Él me dijo, porque no tiene que ser así, me dijo. Y no. él había sido testigo de, 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 de algún tiempo de, de mi desempeño en el trabajo. Y no le interesaba no, okay. cada año. No, no, nada. Entonces yo, pues, como era mi hermano, ¿verdad? Y por no tener problemas en la familia, ni que mi mamá mo se molestara, este, lo dejé así. Pero como a los 10 meses que yo me dejé de trabajar con él, le quebró el mini super y lo cerró. Wow. Así el que... karma. Uh -huh. Sí. Solo se ha quedado ahí medio flotando con la llantería. Sí. Bueno, o sea que usted le administraba súper bien. Pues al parecer sí, porque mientras yo estuve a cargo no, no pasó nada. No pasó nada. Y luego me llamó que volviera con él y que, 
y que empezáramos de nuevo, pero yo le dije que no porque ya estaba trabajando donde estoy ahora. Uh -huh. Pero imagínese si eso pasa con, digamos, con este caso y, y ya con las big companies menos que se van. Sí, sí. sí. Sal. Bueno. <ríe> Sorry. Entonces, vamos a volver a leer en groups. Hoy voy a cambiar los groups y luego damos una sugerencia que puede hacer Cristóbal. Para que, voy, para que inicie su business y qué sugerencia debe tomar en cuenta para que su business pues sea algo profitable, algo rentable, que no vaya a ser que solo pierda los $15,000. O también usted le puede sugerir que no, que no invierta todo, pues, o sea, que, que no se vaya de vacaciones. Exacto, que no eche todo porque quién sabe. <ríe> no, o sea, siempre es bueno quedarse como con un colchoncito. Yes, bye. Let me stop sharing. Let me remake the groups. The idea is to have, I mean, to share, to generate opinion. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. I'm going to share the images. Okay. Here there is. To share, what are, what are the instructions that we have to do it? Hola, señorita Katy. Hello. Hola, hello. What are these? Worker named Cristobal Miranda is planning to start his own, 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 como se dice oh. ahí, oh. Oh, business. business since he is no longer under a contract and he has saved ten thousand dollars plus he just got the amount of five thousand in terms of compensation for his former workplace. He was he was to set up his own business in something related to consent. Since he is a professional chef, however, he needs the assistance of a business expert so that he can use his money with it. How can he start his business? What, suggest, what suggestion can you give to Cristobal for setting up his business? Ok, ahí empezamos otra vez. Voy a leer la primera, la primera estrofa yo, luego sigue la compañera y luego las preguntas que le toquen a él. Ok. Ok, dice, A just fire worker named Cristóbal Miranda is planning to start his how business since he is no longer under a contract and he has said ten thousand dollars plus he just go to a amount of five thousand thousand in terms of compensation for his former workplace. He wants to set up his own business in something re related to cuisine science his professional. 
chef, professional mm -hmm. chef. However, he needs the assistance of a business expert so that he can use his money wisely. How can he start his business? What suggestion can you give to Cristobal for setting up his business? Okay. Hoy, compañero, puede empezar ahí con la primera parte. A useful worker and name Cristobal Miranda, <clears throat> planning to study hope business since he is no longer under a contract and he has saved seven dollars plus. Hello, hello, good evening. Anybody home? Hola. ¿Qué tal, Jason? ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias a Dios. ¿Y usted qué tal? Bien, bien, gracias. Qué bueno, me alegro. Bye. Este, what do you think about the first question? How can he start his business? Can you use money with the question? Okay. Eh, dijo que íbamos a dar como recomendación, ¿verdad? Sí. Dice he, que. His recommendation de. Es planear. De Cristóbal. ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, en. Y planear. Eh, Cristóbal is the planning to, to start business right? and money money porque aparentemente tenía diez mil guardado verdad y cinco mil de compensación mm -hmm. en total sería 15,000, ¿verdad? Ajá. 15, no, sí, 15,000 sería, ¿verdad? 15,000 dólares. Uh -huh. Yes, y eh, estar good business, restaurant, comedor. Dice. Ahora de diez mil dólares más. He just got the amount of five Él solamente tiene cinco mil dólares. Tendría que ahorrar diez mil dólares. Cinco mil dólares en terms of compensation for his former workplace. O oh, pues de lo que le dieron de, del despido. Eso. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, o sea yeah, que yeah. él él in my, in well, no, eh, sería como que él tiene que llegar a la meta de 10 mil dólares okay. entonces por eso por eso menciona what suggestion can you give to Cristóbal for setting up his business mm -hmm. another opinion that I have that I can say if he needs to find another job for he can save more money because he doesn't he doesn't has or he doesn't have the amount that he really need to start his business porque yo porque según veo él no tiene todavía todo el el, el dinero o el monto del dinero para poder iniciar su mm -hmm. negocio mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. y era lo que sugería usted hacer como un préstamo en el banco is possible borrow a, in a bank <laughs> prestar en el banco pero teacher yeah. is correct that we can say borrow in a bank yeah. or is I another from a bank or ask for borrow, borrow money from a bank yes borrow money from a, from a bank or ask for a loan 
ask for a loan. Okay, mm -hmm. that uh, is uh, es más conocido ask for a loan. Right. Loan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> Lo que necesita. Uno. Así es. Sí. Mm -hmm. Eso también Ajá. es importante tener en cuenta lo que el cliente busca. Sí, como cubrir las necesidades de los clientes ¿va? y que ellos mismos como que dan el, la pauta de, de qué es lo que necesitan. ¿va? Por sí. ejemplo, si uno va y se tiene tal cosa, no. Ah, ya, ya el vendedor dice, ah, este cliente busca tal uh -huh. producto, lo voy a tener. Sí. Ajá. Sí, así es. Ok. Entonces podríamos concluir de que de que una, aparte de buscar una asesoría como profesional, es también conocer las necesidades del cliente, ¿verdad? Así es. Uh -huh. Eso okay. sí es importante. Ahora solo está que lo digamos en inglés. <risa> Eso sería muy importante. <risa> Eso es más importante aún. <risa> yes. Ok, vamos a ver si nos sale. Um, uh -huh. Question number two, what suggestion can you give to Cristobal for a setting up his business? I think so, uh, Cristobal needs to, to request for information about the market, the marketing, and he, he, he needs to know of, let's say, of need of the client. For example, if a client needs a, a different food the the seller needs to 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 sell to the client pero no es de todos los días verdad no no Ok, muy bien. Sí, no es de todos los días. Quit, sí. Ok. ¿Y qué significa set up para usted? He wants to set up his own business. Es como comenzar. Iniciar. Quiere ah. iniciar su propio negocio. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Muy bien. I choose fight at work. Okay. All right, ideas for Cristobal Miranda on how to start his own business, how to set up his business. 
volunteers. Me teacher. Okay. Me teacher. All right, Robert and then Jose. Okay, uh, we speak with my group uh, about the question. Mm -hmm. um, we speak about what suggestion can you give to Christopher for setting setting up his business? Mm -hmm. uh, number one, he needs to uh, study the, the marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, he needs to request a uh, I'll buy for a spare in the in the topic, mm -hmm. and he needs to to set up uh, this business for for yes. the future. To have assistance from an expert in the in that business area, right? Yes. Okay. Good. And to study the market, the target that he wants to. I mean, sell the products too, right? Okay. Yes, it's, it's very important. Very important. All right. He okay. can hire a consultant, maybe. He can also hire a consultant. That's right. Mm -hmm. As an expert. As... All right. Jose, I think he wanted to add something. Yeah, teacher, for the second question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This for well, uh, for the paragraph, say that he needs ten thousand dollars. So, in my case, or in my opinion, I think the first thing he has to start in another job for he can save more money for he can start. The Bluetooth device is ready to So, you for think, he can save more, yeah, fifteen thousand dollars is not enough to start a business such as a restaurant. Yeah, of course, teacher. Mm. And the another suggest is he needs to save more money, and he need when he has his business or he's located, mm. um, he needs to promotion or he needs to make a publicity mm -hmm. for the net, social network for um, everybody or more people knows about uh, his to business. Get more customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get more customers. Right. And another thing, in the first weekend, mm -hmm. <laughs> he can, give a I don't know, he, find, <laughs> and, yeah, he can give free food, no, uh -huh. free sample. Sample. Free sample. Uh -huh. samples, yeah, yeah, it can be sampling. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are many strategies, right, to attract customers. But the first thing he has to do is to be really brave to study the market, to get professional help, professional assistance, so that he can invest his money wisely so he doesn't lose his money. But being honest, do you think $15,000 is not enough to start a business? Mm, I mean, no, I think that a he needs getting a bank loan. He needs to get a bank loan. Yes. So what, what do you think is, is the enough amount of money thirty thousand dollars yeah it depends mm, in my yes. opinion for the business mm -hmm. it depends for if yeah. for example if you want to open opening in a, a, a restaurant of course uh, we need more money mm -hmm. but if we want to make or opening a a store in your house or a cafeteria we need Yes. Cafeteria, so mm -hmm. we don't need too much money. <laughs> a pupuseria. <laughs> yes. A pupuseria in your garbage. In your yeah, casa. Yeah. <laughs> Many people use the sidewalk to put the tables and start the pupuseria. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes, I think it's because the probably the example is not very updated. Because these days we don't need fifteen thousand dollars to start a business. Is the amount is, is very small, very little. Oh, is, yes. This approach goes goes for something big. I know. Maybe. I know. So at this time we will need probably around thirty or forty thousand dollars. Probably, right? Yes, probably. Yeah. All right. 
this is more vocabulary related to accounting. <laughs> I know it's a lot of new vocabulary on this unit, right? We are learning. Okay, take a look and try to match the nouns and the definitions. Okay, assets, liabilities, stockholders, and equities or equities as you wish to pronounce. When you have your guess or when you already do your research, we can compare. Stocks and shares that carry no fixed interest, a holder of supplies for manufacturers, a thing for which someone is responsible, especially an amount of money owned, an item of property owned by a person or company regarded as having value and available to meet debts, commitments, or legacies. The colder. Uh -huh. Let's Maybe. start with the first one. Assessed. Which one do you think it's the correct definition? The first one, the second, the third one, or the fourth one? Any idea? No, no ideas. Okay, one minute to start looking for the definitions because I think it's it's new vocabulary. Must must of it. All right, any guess for the first one? Mm -hmm. Access is acciones. Mm -hmm. Which definition would be? the most prop appropriate one. An item or property owned by a person or company regarded as having value, available to meet debts, exactly. commitments, or negotiations. Actually, that's assessed. An item or property owned by a person or a company. Of course, in this terms, we're talking about the assets of a company, right? But it can be from a person as well. All right, liabilities. Liabilities. It's passive. Mm -hmm. So which is the definition? Passivos. Liabilities. It's um, oh, no. a, thing, a thing for which someone is responsible, especially a mom of money. Help. Exactly. A thing for which someone is responsible, especially an amount of money owed. It's money that it's owed, that is not completely gained or earned yet. Right? My stockholders? Yeah. Stock and shares that carry no fixed. It's a holder of supplies for manufacturers and equities is a stocks and shares. Oh, okay. They carry no fixed interest. All right.
Some people might know what this is. Some other people might have no idea. I know it's a little bit difficult to understand because maybe we don't even know the concepts in Spanish, right? So we have like very, very, very little knowledge of it. But what is a balance sheet? Example presented in the following slide and give ideas to help us manage the liabilities. <laughs> Como que estoy en la clase de contabilidad del bachillerato. <laughs> so give ideas on the financial statement of a company. Too much. And this was long, long ago because it was January 13, 2016, January 31st, 2017. So these are cash and equivalents, total current assets, total assets, current liabilities, account payables, total current liabilities. And the, I mean, you have to add those numbers, right? Stockholders equity, common stock, capital surplus, and the total stockholders equity. Of course, this is something that you got on your manual. Read the information to answer the questions. Compare with the partner. How much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? And this is a big number, so don't worry. I'm going to show you from the manual so that you feel more related to it. Let's see. Okay. Acasa. This is on page 43. 43. Mm -hmm. So interpret information from a financial statement of a company. This is a financial statement of the company. And then you discuss with your classmate what you know about the assets, liabilities, stockholders, equity of your company. So total of assets. ¿Quién puede leer este número enorme? <laughs> A million. No. A million. Ocho millones trescientos treinta y nueve mil. Cuatrocientos. Four hundred thirty nine thousand. Okay. A million four hundred thirty nine thousand. Es tan fácil, la verdad. It's easy. Because it's separated by comma. Okay, so that's the total on assets, right? Then okay. we have liabilities. Total of liabilities. Mm -hmm. Nineteen millions one hundred thirty-five thousand. Yes, and the total of the stockholders' equity. My kids is a poquito más challenging, if you ask me. Uh -huh. Four thousand. Four thousand. Sixty-six million. Four million. Know. Four million. Four million sixty-six thousand. That's it. Four million sixty-six thousand. All right. Esto es mm, okay. los okay. totales ya se los dan en el año 2016, en 2016. ¿Qué es lo que hay que hacer? Aquí ven unos espacios ustedes en el año 2017. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver qué es lo que hay que calcular. Hay que sumar. Sumar lo diferente. Solo yeah. sumar, solo sumar para sacar los totales de assets, total assets, total liabilities, and total stockholders. Calculadora, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> Calculator. Sí, porque yo así no lo hago. One million six hundred and eleven thousand plus. Six million. Ahí está la respuesta ya. Six million four hundred and eighty thousand. 
Aquí está fácil. El total of assets está fácil. A ver. Millions. Eight million ninety-one thousand. Ese sería el total de assets. Total of assets. Yes. Yes. Okay. Más o menos que el 2016. Es más. Menos. Es más, ah, no, menos. Es menos. Ajá. Es menos. Sí. Aquí es 439,000. Yes. Aquí bajaron las ventas. Qué <ríe> mal. Qué mal. Qué mal. Just fired a lot of people. Ajá. Así uh -huh. como funciona. Ajá. Y acá los liabilities. Sumar 4 million 400. 83,000 plus 9,856,000. Oof, that's a lot. That's like 14 million. Fourteen million. Fourteen million three hundred thirty-nine thousand. O sea, esto. Es más que el total of assets. Yes? Yeah. ¿Y esto qué significa? Que estamos en deuda. Porque es más lo que se debe que lo que se tiene, ¿verdad? Yes? Yes. Yes. Terrible. Yes. <laughs> Está en quiebra. It's broken. <laughs> All right. Broke. Bro. Y luego, yes, the total the stockholders, 687,000 plus 2,584,000. Oops. I like 3 million something, right? Uh -huh. Sí, million. Ajá. Por Yes. Estos números son grandes. <ríe> Pero una vez usted sabe dónde separar cada tres dígitos por coma y ahí se va de, de thousands a millions. Bye. Al de abajo le falta esa coma, ¿verdad? El for. This one. Eh, no, el, el, el que ya está dado acá en medio en January. Ah, sí. Aquí, Ajá, yeah. aquí la confusion, por eso no, no encontramos. Mm -hmm. 66, <laughs> yes, 66,000. Yes, I know. Les faltó ahí el typo. Bye. Entonces ya estamos resumiendo la respuesta de how much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017. Que era eso, calcular, ¿verdad? Sumar. If we add, pues la, a, a hundred seventy and sixty-seven thousand and two million five hundred and eighty-four thousand, the resulted. O sea, sumar esa cantidad más esa cantidad, ¿cuánto es? Is three million. Three million. Four fifty-one thousand. Oh my God, true. Uh -huh. So ahí solo te suma le poner el result. Y ahí lo compartieron ya. 3,451,000. Para que es que no tenemos calculator y que se nos, se nos dificulta este tipo de cálculos, ¿verdad? Vaya, for tomorrow vamos a estudiar esto, que es el zero conditional. Esto no es tanto con los números, es un poquito más de eh, estructura gramatical del idioma. Cuando usamos el zero conditional, solo para que tengan una idea o para que vayan siendo un poco curiosos, es si se cumple esta condición, usamos el if, el resultado será este. ¿Yes? Obviamente podemos invertir, usar el resultado al inicio y el if, la condición al final de la oración. Entonces es acá. El primero dice, if I wake up late, I will be late for work. Ese será el resultado. 
Zero conditional es prácticamente si esta condición, este es el resultado, ambas cosas están en simple present, es, es fácil. Por ejemplo, si yo estudio, aprendo. Si yo me esfuerzo... If, exactly. If, if, I I learn, if I learn English, I get a new job. Exactly. If hago esto, esta es la no. condición. Si reúno esta condición, este será el resultado. O este es el resultado, yes. If okay. I drink a lot of coffee at night, I won't sleep. <laughs> Or I, I don't sleep. <laughs> yes. Dice <laughs> why, yes. why name is zero. Zero conditional. Zero conditional. Porque yeah. hay cuatro conditionals. Esta es como la más básica. Ah, really? Sí. <risa> Gramaticalmente es la más básica. Exacto. Por Menos eso. mal. O sea que hay one condition, second condition. Pero es como en español. Por ejemplo, le dice, si te portas mal, te guardas. Te cae. <risa> te cae. Vaya, simple. O sea, si hace esta condición, este es el resultado. Uh -huh. Y no hay vuelta. Uh -huh. Entonces, lo mismo en inglés. Para usar el zero condition, usamos el if. Pero también podemos invertir. Te voy a pegar si no haces la tarea. Ah, so, uh, ok. So, I get or I give okay. punishment if you don't do the homework. So, eso lo veo. Por si sí o por si no. Igual, siempre le caen. <laughs> so, that is the topic. Don't worry. We're going to study that tomorrow. It's time for the attendance. Throw the Gina or the air. De chancla. De chancla. To the poor child. Yes. Okay. Andrea Monge. Present. Carlos. Denis. Here the show. Y Denis no vino. What happened? <laughs> Denis, Denis, no. Not here. Okay. Gilberto. Present. 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 Jose. Present teacher. Julio César. Present. Catherine. Present. Present. Mary. Present teacher. Robert. Present teacher. Ok. Rolando. Present teacher. Rudy. Salvador, Susana, Virginia, William. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. Well, <clears throat> have a good night. Enjoy, relax, rest. Have a good night. Thank recover. <laughs> recover your battery. Recharge your batteries for tomorrow. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Thank you. You too.